Welcome to the Things to Live For podcast. Here's Rick. Hi, I hope you're having a great day. This is where we discuss things in life that are just great. Things to live for. At the end of a long, stressful day, many of us like to escape from our lives for a little while and get lost in a TV show. It helps us to unplug and recharge. Sitcoms like Friends or The Office are great for marathoning. We each have one or two programs that we know so well that we can just keep it running in the background while we do things around the house. And you know we all still laugh at almost every single punchline, like we're just watching it for the first time. Television has gotten so good over the past years that dramas like Game of Thrones are like mini-movies. When we watch them, we get so immersed in the story that we feel like we're right there with the characters. In my opinion, these shows we should watch in installments. It's so fun dissecting them and coming up with our own theories. Now, there are those that consider TV a waste of time. I disagree. I think it just adds to the human experience. Good television touches us on an emotional level. We laugh, we cry, we end up talking about it with our friends and family. Sometimes, we even strike up conversations with complete strangers over our favorite shows. Watching your favorite TV program is like visiting a place where you're most comfortable. You can dwell there for a while, relax, and just soak it in. Thanks for joining Things to Live For. If you enjoyed the show, please spread the word. You can find our social media links at thingstolivefor.com. That's things, the number two, livefor.com. Rick here. Have a blessed day. This edition of the Things to Live For podcast is made possible by Daryl Woods. Check out his music and videos at darylwoods.com. That's D-A-R-Y-L, Woods with a Z, dot com.